Oh, wait, so it's live now. And let's see, we will find out in five, four, three. I'm gonna assume we're live, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, hello, and welcome to Beer Splaining. It definitely says you're live. There we go, no, that's the last one. Again, that's last week, past broadcast. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see you guys. Now live. <laughs> so, as I said, welcome to Beer Splaining. I am Beer Snob Esquire. But today, today, instead of Hoppy Hippo joining me, we have the infamous Producer A. The reason Producer A is here with me today is during some discussions in recent weeks, she believes that she's going to be able to name that hazy. Specifically, we're going to give us four unknown hazy IPAs. But we know who made them. We know who made them, but we don't know which one is which. To be fair, just a little cliff note. Yeah, cliff note. Cellar Maker was not in the agreement. Cellar Maker was not in the agreement. That is to be fair. <laughs> um, it was supposed to be uh, Bear Bottle. Bear Bottle. But we couldn't get a hazy IPA, and we worried that the hazy pale ale would be too obvious. And, you know. I think, I, I think it would have been too obvious. Like so, I moved forward a little bit, you guys. I think. God, you're a perfectionist. So that's well, well, you yeah. guys look, The thing is, you look really close when you look at the screen here. Right. And really far when I look at what I'm actually saying. You mean moving this doesn't even appear to be moving the screen, which is no, the weirdest right. part. It looks no, fine. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but that's our show today. You're, you're like way closer on this screen, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So we'll be rating the beers, and then at the end, seeing if we can determine which beer is which. I think it's fine. Yeah, because we're going to be able to see the beers once you lay them out. Yeah, so exactly. there were probably less chit chat today because producer A doesn't like to talk about politics or religion or sports. I talk in the background. You do talk in the background, but mostly like that's stupid, which is true. It's true. It's true. It's true. So then, what would you like to talk about while we're waiting yeah. for for <laughs> the hoppy hippo to pour those beers for us? I got nothing. She got nothing. She's got wow. Nothing. I'm a boring um, host. Let's yes. talk about those jets. That's Let's talk about those jets. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's very upset that they lost in the loser pool this week. Um, although you did make it to the final three, so that's well, pretty good. Well, fingers crossed, Monday night's game goes my way. Right, so who, who's, who has to lose on I Monday I don't know, night? some person. No, no. But the Broncos, the Broncos. The Broncos, apparently. If, if the Broncos win... Then I'm still in. Then you're still in. But if the Broncos lose... Then I lose. Then you lose, and we have what, like twenty-five people, and both me and my coworker lose. So half of us win. were out in two weeks, and another half of us were out after week four. There yep. was literally after week four, there was three teams left. So, uh, so uh, go Jets. Actually, so I'm gonna say go Broncos. Broncos, yeah, because the Jets already no. won. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say go whoever's playing the Broncos, because <laughs> I want to get back in. I need another loser pool. We need to get back into it. And no, today's fantasy doing. football is why well, we usually do if it ends early enough. I don't think this is early enough, is it? Oh, yeah. Corey? What was your question? Is it early enough to do another game? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. What you else is fantasy football? Out, yeah. the, the Kansas City Buffalo Bills are disappointing fantasy owners across the globe. Over under that was like 55. Yeah, the over under was 55, and, and last I checked, it was still 0 0 uh, in the second quarter. Real defensive battle. So, yeah, with two turnovers, one each team turned over in the red zone in their first drive. That's always good. That's I always don't good. Do football. Uh, I know. Well, you, you do the loser <laughs> pool, so you do. I do the losers pool because so I'm good just, at picking losers. We just. Oh wow! No hey, offense. look out! Hoppy hippo shot across the bow there. Wow, mm, man, look That's out! Uh, sure it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with that. That's not what she. Meant. That's not what she meant. I mean, what else can we talk about? about? The Niner fans throwing shots. Hey, hey, yeah. It's, I mean, we did lose today. It hey, now. Not, it wasn't a good game. I did not. Enjoy, I didn't get to see half of it. Wait, did the Niners lose? Yes, they did. I was gonna pick them. That would have been a bold pick because they were favored to win by like five and a half points. So no, I was going to pick the team playing them. Yeah, I didn't been... trust the Niners to win, even that though I'm smart, a fan. It was a smart lack of trust. They're, Unfortunately, they're you also team. trusted the Jets to lose, and they're playing better football, frankly. So Fuck Jets this. are not the the right, walk sorry. away pick they used to be anymore. Oh, they're Excellent. pretty. Look at how pretty. Yes. All righty. Make sure you don't get mine backwards. Don't worry. I don't trust you. I took photos. Including my own board in front These of these. These look great. And I, can you smell them? Because I can already smell them. I can already smell them. Yes, they smell wonderful. These are all freshies. <clears throat> Very freshies, yes. I picked up at the brewery no later than like two weeks. Yep. There we go. Let's yeah, they look right. This one's a little darker. This one's a little lighter. They look right. Okay. I need the lighting, though. 
No, because I mean this one no, looks just a little lighter. You're right. Nicer. So, anyway, you guys, you have your um, scoring sheets going over that. Yes, we do. We've got our Brewers fan scoring sheet. Which you I know, hate doing. going back yeah. in the day. Uh, ten points for appearance. Ten points for smell. Thirty points for taste. Twenty points for aftertaste. Thirty points for general drinkability for a total of a hundred. Um, Nothing's ever gotten. I think we've gone into the 90s. It's like a 93, I think. Mark. Yeah. This is our highest rated beer. We've gotten some into the 30s and 40s. They were really Look nice. Look at your beer. cute little taste. I know, that's that little. Like we need to use those more. Mine oh, just hangs on the wall. We have tons of them. Oh, the well, my, my beer's plenty one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine we haven't raised a lot of blinds lately. He used it last true. week, too. That is true. I did. I did. I did. Okay, so you can start. Do you talk about the scoring? How it works? Yeah, I know. Okay. I know the scoring. Well, I mean, you're going to go with color first? I was smelling first. Oh, okay. They all look the same. No, so. one of them is slightly lighter. This one is slightly lighter. I actually like this color better than the other three. It, this one is lighter than this one. And then this It goes, one like, in terms one. of lightness to darkness, I go one, two, three, yes. four. I do think they're close enough to not be obvious. Though. Oh, I agree with that, yes. Which I was a little bit worried about that we were getting kind of one of the browner hazies. Right. And I kind of just wanted four orange juicy hazies for this. But so. it was also, I did not, when I picked up, I mean, part of the rules were you weren't allowed to taste okay. what you were picking up. We did not up. taste either. So I had nobody... a different beer at Humble C when we picked it up. I was mad they didn't have the ones canned. But her little seat. Oh, she's there. Oh, I thought I thought her would call. Say dad. Oh, she'll come back. She... Oh, okay. Or she'll text. So I'm just, I'm honestly just going to say probably nines all the way down because they look that close. No, I'm giving this one a 10. Number three, I'm going to give it a 10. You Worst actually think nines. the lighter color is better? I like the lighter one slightly really? better. Really? Yes, that's me. See, I'm the opposite. I know. I like it to be <clears throat> darker. I want it to look as orange juicy as possible. Yes. Like I want to. I would love. I, agree to, with I would love for like a glass of orange juice and my beard so to be I next would to each other. So I actually make that neat then because that is true. I like. Well, that's just me. I'm like, oh, I get I'm you. like, oh. But I don't like the juice. browner version. That this one looks more. Actually, I like it to look like more like a grapefruit juice, which is what oh, I fair. think this one looks like. Reasonable. So, okay, now smells. Um, Smelly smells. It's got a strong smell. Mm. It it it's that kind of smell that mm. would actually enhance the taste. This is a really common hop, I think. I don't actually remember what any of these beers are, but... Smell but you have them. Oh, smell wise. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't know well, that... I'm, having them the same I get, you guys I'm getting a distinct smell from this that I, I already think I know what this one might be. I'm going to give that an eight. It's not quite as fruity as I would want it to be. It's definitely very aromatic, but I want more fruit. I want more pineapple. I want more... You gave it an eight as well. Yes. Because it wasn't quite strong enough like, for smell. This one I think is more like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nine right there in smell. All right, oh, nice. I started drinking. Oh, okay. Well, we can just do that too. <laughs> we can do that too. Fine. I'll go back to beer number one. Taste. Ooh. You have grapefruit afterwards. Wow. That one's way more mellow than I was expecting from the smell. The initial taste is a good burst of it, but I don't think it lingers as much as you would think, at least not as strongly. It hangs out, but not not as much as the smell, I think, would would indicate. I can't guess what it is yet, though. I do think I know what that one is, though. Uh, I'm give that you a are allowed to change. You can make your guesses. You can write your guesses and change your minds later. Too. I right. can't make a guess until I taste the other ones. Okay. Aftertaste. Drinkability. I don't do math. <laughs> I can do the math for you. So I gave it an 8 for smell, 25 for taste, 16 for aftertaste, and a 26 for drinkability. We're very similar in See, scores. I liked the aftertaste. I gave it more points. Yeah, I wanted more of it, though. I just wanted it to last longer. That's why. But the drinkability, I went up from taste because the appearance and smell are good. So let's see. So I got, let's I'll see. I'll let you math. <laughs> 25, 35, 41, 58, 60, 78, 84. And you got... My smeller's broken. 80... I thought I was not the bad smeller. <laughs> well, I did smoke just before we started. Because you gave it two more points there, two more points there, so that's 88. Oh, okay. 84 and 88. Smell am, I saying, smell am, I, am I saying what I think it is? You want coffee? I really can't smell it. You can't smell this one? No. Really? I, I think this one smells coffee? great. Like, we have a coffee piece? That might help. I think that one smells great. In, in that little canister is a whole bunch of coffee. Oh. So it's the coffee that... Canisters coffee. What? The coffee, coffee. That's right. Literally, the canisters coffee. It just has coffee. <laughs> That's producer.
produce the Sierra. It might be producer D. I was like, I think that she was our door. I will go see. Oh, I didn't hear anything. I will go see. I think they knocked. Yeah, it wasn't knocked. Which makes me think it's going to be a fucking political fight. Sometimes that helps cleanse the palate a little. Obviously, coffee just smells Oh, that coffee smells so good. Is it producer D? Hey, D. I still can't smell it. Okay. All right, well, somebody's snowballs are broken. It's fine. Somebody smell is broken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, do you get that the COVID? I can smell. Hashtag oh, no COVID. Maybe you're just missing the smell on this one. That's possible. Hashtag no COVID. I just can't smell this one because I smelled the first one. It is one. lighter than the, the other. It is lighter for sure. It is lighter in the aroma than yeah, the other no, one. I, I, I have to knock it. It's way lighter. It is way lighter. I, I, I would concur with that. Uh, oh, my commentary on this video. What is her total score for the year? Her score was 88. Oh, I gave it 64. an 84. Oh. I I really liked it. I thought the drinkability was super high on this. I agree. We it gave was, it we gave it a higher. We both yeah, we gave it twenty six in drinkability. Yeah, and the smell was great. Oh, wait, no, really that means you gave it an eighty six. I look for Eighty six. I think it's really good. That's fruity. It is. Which one? It is fruity. I, the flavor on this one's solid, but it's also again, it washes out. It comes in early and then doesn't hang out and party in your mouth, which is what you like. Isn't it, producer D? You don't like to party in your mouth? No, no. Producer A, no, no party in the mouth? No. I have no comment. I only make comments about that stuff when I'm in the background. <laughs> you know, it's way I more also, fun when Hoppy Hippo's over here. I also have no the comment. The then I start turning red. <laughs> he would be agreeing that you want to have the party in the mouth. I, yeah, see, I can't. I'm going to ding this pretty bad on aftertaste. I think the original taste is really good. Really, I like 26. the aftertaste. It doesn't, it's even less... I think right. it stays on my tongue all the way on longer here. than this one. Yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get that at all. <laughs> and so I have to knock the drinkability because of it. Here, this one just has to figure out how to do the maze, though. I do. I'm, I'm just in charge of this part, so <laughs> <laughs> creating. Did you bring one you could show? Uh, so they could see it? No, I just brought oh. two I'm working on. Okay. All right, so I gave that one a total of an 81. I gave it more. Ooh, you weighed. I like wow, that. holy cow, except you didn't like smell, so six. No, there was no smell. You gave that one an 88. Mm. So two points higher than the last one. I like the first one better on a straight comparison between the two. I agree. Mm. I agree. I give the first one a better score. I gave it an 84. This one got an 81. Uh, producer A, however, gave it an 88. So this is her beer of the day. I think... I, I still think I know what the first one is. I'm not sure yet what that one is. Number trace. Oh, wow. This one's got all the smells. It's the broken smeller. Did the broken mm. smeller smell it? I could smell it. Yeah, you got that one. That one's all the aromas. I'm going to give that a 10 on smell. It's beautiful. Love the smell. Do you want to see if you can smell, Smelly? Sure. Let's see if I can smell. Maybe I am broken. No, I don't get a lot of this one either. I don't get a lot. I actually get a It smells... Really? I think I know what I'm getting a lot of smell out of this. It smells like pineapple-y? Yeah. Like, yeah. Very, very acidy, very... Yes. Yeah. Mmm. I can't believe you can't smell this. I can smell. It's just not the smell anymore. Do you have COVID? No, Hashtag no COVID. I can definitely taste it. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, that's why I lost my smell. But. Ooh, I might have <laughs> to change my mind now. Oh, no, wait, no, I think this smell? is... No. What do you think They're trying is? to guess the brewery, remember? Uh, oh. I'm So far, I'm thinking beer number one is field work, and I think this one is Burning Barrel. I don't think this is Burning Barrel. I think this is <clears> Cellar <throat> Maker. I don't know that I would so be... So you're the trying to guess... Maker. The brewery that it came from. Are yes. they all the same kind of beer? Like most, importantly, most importantly, producer A is trying to get the one that's from Humble Sea correct. I'm not. I'm I? Per, I, because that was what started the conversation. Yes, so you thought for sure you could point out a Humble Sea. If you can nail Humble Sea and Burning Barrel, then you win. If you can mix the other two up if you want to, that's fine. That's a matter. But if you nail those two, then you will have proven yourself correct. Because those are the two you said. Specifically, we call that. I mean, I guess we kind of called out build work for it a little bit too. Yes. Well, we were talking about how they all seem to taste the same. Like Bernie Brown, we were talking about how all hazies. How did you guys rate this one? Did you guys score? I, I haven't finished know. it. I don't do math. I haven't finished it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe my nose is broken. You can't smell any of them? I s very light smell on the second and third. Interesting. Well, one and four have more smell. One, one and four have more smell to me personally. All right. 
One still has the most smell for me. That's my top beer of the day at 89. Mm-hmm. That's a really, really good score for you, Bear Snob. I should have good... tasted number three. I really smell that one. Let's see. Ninety. That's your top rated beer of the day. Mm. <clears throat> Number three feels watery to me. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. I, I like. I gave it a little bit of a ding on the oh, aftertaste. It's really good. I'm just saying that the mouthfeel isn't there yeah. like, I, like I was like the further two, I think the mouthfeel is better on the first than it is on the third. One. I think the third one's very good. Just it feels kind of watery for some weird reason. Yes. And that that makes sense. sense. This might be my favorite one. Four? Mm-hmm. I think it's the humble soup. Do you know? You uh, poured them. By the way, based on smell alone, I wrote that down. Oh, I should reference, by the way, for I'm those watching. Uh, this is your humble soup. There are two That's doubles. Funny. Just based on the smell. There are two doubles and two singles in here. That's pretty sure I'm right. Oh, this is, this is definitely my favorite one. There are two doubles and two singles. Mostly because we can only acquire a double or a single from two different spots. We have to compare. <laughs> Did you already score four? I did, yes. I give that an 87. So beer three was I my top-scoring beer. That was my top-scoring beer. Oh, wow. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a 92. 92. 92, which is her top beer. I gave number three my favorite beer. Okay, go on. Take another taste and make sure you can put in your guesses for, you know, for your, um, your guess for which brew we made. Beer. Yes. And then you're going to do one at a time? I will bring out one at a time. Excellent. Because then we can talk about the breweries and yeah, stuff. Like, absolutely. Like to do. All right. You already wrote down? No, you wrote, did you I already, you wrote down your guesses. I wrote down my guesses, all four. Okay. She's still working on hers. Okay. That one tastes really weird going back to it. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. They do. The, the, the hops in this one interfere with the hops in this yeah. one. Yeah. It's not right. For sure. Like when you go from one to the other? Yep. Yeah. Well, you have water in here. It's interesting. Yeah, I've been. I drink water in between. Well, just throw some coffee in your mouth. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Party in the mouth. Party in the mouth. With some water. That is like your own fucking fresh made coffee. Just throw that shit in there. Chase it with some water. Do a swirly. Boom. <laughs> okay. It's like your own built in foamer. That's right. Frother. All right. So it looks like we agree on two, but we have switched the other two. All right, well, let's talk about the two you agree on first. What numbers right. do you guys agree on? We, we both believe number one is field work, mm-hmm. and we will both believe number four is humble C. Okay. But right. I have Cellar Maker as beer two, and she has Burning Barrel. All right, so let's start with beer number one. Beer number one. Burning Watch Barrel beer. doesn't usually danky, do danky tasting beers, mm-hmm. and beer number three mm-hmm. had a danky taste to it. All right, congratulations. You guys got beer number one correct. Woo, yes. This was the belt. As soon as I smelled it and tasted it, this is the field work hazy. It's, it, it, say what you want about it, they, they're very consistent in their hazies, they, they don't have a whole, you can get 20 hazies, but I don't think you could, that'd be the next thing to do is to see, we have four beers from field work, all hazies, but three are different, One, one's a repeat to see if we can figure out, do they taste any different? Do they actually other. taste different? That's right. fair. I think that would be a fun show as well. Yeah, you know, next time we're at a field work, I will see if we can actually acquire four hazies at a time. They ha- I, they ha- I could have, I got at least two. Okay. So we could have gotten at least two, but yeah. So I, so yeah, it's, it's a very field work beer, I thought. <clears throat> All right. Do you want to talk about field work? Okay, stuff? so let's see. And I'll actually talk about, I went to you the did new talk field about work. About the beer I went to the new field work, as a matter of fact, yeah. in San Leandro. Uh, bartender said they were open for, had been open for six weeks. A very similar vibe and feel as the one in San Ramon. It's got some really open space, big windows, uh, just a much larger covered outdoor space yes. as opposed to the, the San Ramon that's completely uncovered. Uh, right in the heart of downtown, parking wasn't a big deal at all. Um, I will say that I wasn't happy with my bartender, you know. We took a while to get to me, but I sat at the bar. We didn't actually have service technically because nobody, we, we Did got you do a that order on the phone? And we got to tell them we walked up and stood in line to order our beers. They were oh, very okay. friendly. Yes. Yeah, so, and there yes. was actually a designated line right. where you right. ordered from. But I sat at the bar. And to you sat at the bar. It took five minutes for the bartender to even acknowledge me, which is frustrating. I wonder if they expected you to get in line. 
Well, and I and I said that I'm like, I'm like, can, do I sit at the bar? Do I order? Like, no, you can sit at the bar and order from there. I'm like, great, great. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. when we went, they only had about what like, two people working in the bar. No, there was like four. There was, there no, was three people. actually working. The well, bar. see, and I only we only had one bartender working the bar. The other three people were working the counter. We're working the register. We're working That's the walk up orders. Felt. We're working the table service. There's plenty of people working there, sure. There were, yeah, there were four people behind the bar, but most of them were not actually serving the bar. There was only one person. And it's a small enough bar. There were only like eight seats, so it should have worked mm-hmm. fine. But they were prioritizing table service and walk-up service, which is Oh, see, that's not good. Yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, there are only six seats in the bar, I believe. Some like recollection. That. That's about, sounds about right. So, so it would make sense to have only one bartender. Um, we've been to, so that means, I've, as far as I know, I've been to all of the field works. There's what? I believe you've been to every field work. Isn't there like eight yes. of them now? Uh, so we can start at the Have we just... not been to everyone? No, we have. Yeah, you. I, I, the so, only one I haven't gone to was San Leandro. So I've obviously Berkeley. To... Sacramento. Right. Berkeley, Sacramento. Uh, Napa. Napa. Twice. Two different Napas. Two, that's true. Um, Monterey. Monterey. San Ramon. San Ramon. San Leandro. Um, San Leandro. And no, there's one more. There's um, Mort- Mill, Mill Valley? I don't know. That sounds right. We went on one of the Santa Rosa trips, remember? Um, mm-hmm. And we got the Amber got the wrong beer. Where did I get the wrong beer? Oh that. yeah, that one. The pe- we had the pizza. That. Oh, there's also San Mateo. It's you not that Mateo? I got the wrong beer. I might not it's have been not been like San I San Mateo. ordered the wrong I made a good beer. Point? They legit brought me the wrong beer. I don't think I've been to the San Mateo. You probably have not been. We've been to San Mateo one twice, but the San Mateo is probably the only I've been to. Okay. And yeah, we hadn't been to the one in I think Mill Valley, but what's on? It's on the peninsula. I don't know. Like it's on this. What's this? What's the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge? San Mateo. No, that's the San Mateo Bridge. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it? It's not Marin, right? No, it is Marin. It's the Marin area. Though. Okay. So you go over to Marin. Oh, wait, so, over, so no, we've been to that one. Because so no, we, we, we were in the big shopping center. We were in that one together. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd say yes. That, that that's was the one, one that actually does it. The only one of them that, that I've been to that they don't have a decently sized outdoor seating. No, yeah, it's was very small. Right. Indoors and very small. Yeah. Um, and we got the wrong one. Yeah, they brought, they told, well, it was funny because we saw it. That's the right. The raspberry parfait. The raspberry parfait. Yeah. Said sold out. These raspberry parfaits. But it showed on the menu. Yes. And so I was confused and he's like, no, that's the right one. And and he brought it to me and it was not the right it one. It was not a raspberry parfait. It was a raspberry parfait. She was salad. unhappy. That's All very right, let's move actually. on to the other one you both also guessed. We both Number four, guessed. correct? Number four. Oh, yes. All right, you guys got number four truck as well. Ooh. He's, he's being a jerk. He's not gonna let us know which one's right. No, except that I think no, this is right. I said you no, no, yeah, but no. But, I'm talking about the middle two. You're you, not telling. Where's the fun in that? You might as well win, talk about the two that were. I think you win. The original point was, wasn't it these two? You said you could point out. No, it's Bernie Brown. So oh, Bernie Brown. So, so at least it, it, no, Humble C was one of the ones well, I right. absolutely could this point one. Out. I, but I thought it was Fielder was the other one, but it was Bernie Brown. So this will. Uh, all right. So Humble C, uh, we both guessed this right, and we both gave it a very high score. This yes. one is a double. Her, her beer of the day. I um, actually gave it a higher score than what I thought was Burning Bear, which is actually my favorite brewery. Burning Bear, yes. But they're my favorite for this hour. Yeah, uh, as a matter of <laughs> fact, and I, and I brought you some. I yeah, did, I brought you some. Um, so what are you talking about? I didn't go to Humble Sea. You went, didn't you? Uh, in Pacifica. Went to the Pacifica one. That's correct. Yeah, we went to the one in Pacifica. It's a new facility. <laughs> That's all I got. It's newish. All right, so it's fine. I have to talk off camera, I guess. I don't yeah, do this stuff. Fine. The Pacifica facility is newish. It's right on the water near the world's most expensive Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, the Taco Bell cool. Cantina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the OG Taco Bell Cantina right there on the Pacifica Beach. Uh, it's a nice spot. They have food. We actually ate there this time. Yeah, um, we've eaten there before. The swag is good. Um, the bill was a lot. <laughs> we well, got we swag got a lot and beer. beer, and we got like a burger and some fish chips, a bunch of stuff like that. So uh, it's good. And their to-go selection is great. We opted out with... Eight four packs, I think. Well, we had a whole case. That's why. That's why the bill was good. Yeah, the bill was big. So that would be nine if it was eight. That's nine. Yeah, 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 we had nine. We had eight. No, we had a full case plus three four packs. Did we not? No, we had a full case plus two four packs plus one bottle. Oh, it was a bottle. Um, where'd you get a bottle? He got Uh, a bottle of early stout. Yeah, I got, a, I got a best try. It's for uh, to share. So they do. So Humble Sea does actually have a third location now, uh, which we've never been to. Well, where's that? Uh, it is located in. It's not in Santa Cruz. It's sort of like inland from Santa Cruz, but kind of inland and north. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't remember what it's calling now, but they took over a, another spot. Debating what else you can uh, do. Was it Nubo? Uh, no, no, no. no Nubo's in Santa Cruz. Oh, that's right. That's Santa Cruz. So I was like okay. determining. It's, I can't remember what it's calling now, but they took over like a, a, an, old, an old restaurant slash tavern place. And they, so I can start looting this spot. Oh, okay. Which we have not been to because basically 
we never ever we drive no that direction. Never. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, Humble Seed, tons of options there. It's really, really good. The seating looks cool. There's a nice outdoor space. It's, it's a nice spot. I haven't been to that one, I don't think. You, oh, no. yes, no, I have. Yes, I have. Because I remember the cantina. You've, You've been, been there with us. Yes. Yeah, you went to, yeah, you went to, to it, yeah. Yes. All right, so. All right, so now. All right, what are, what are, now, so who guessed what now? So I have Burning Barrel, then Cellar Maker. And you have it flipped. The opposite, yes. All right, so I'm going to bring out beer <laughs> number two. I would have just brought one out and told us what it was after you brought it out. Yeah, you can put it down. Let's bring yeah. them both out? No, did, yeah, bring them both out and put them in order. So it goes one, two, three, four. So this is two and this is three. I was wrong. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you got all four. Nailed it. Wow. So Impressive. First, to be clear and to give props where it's due, she was right. She nailed Burning Barrel and Humble Seas. I mean, we might have skewed it just a little bit because, you know, um, they love their high alcohol beers and the two that we, she said they could guess were both the doubles. That is true. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that is I a, didn't know that though. She, that is true. She didn't know that. She didn't know. But, she didn't know. But, but you it's know, true. she determined between the two of them right, but which still, one. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. She didn't yeah. know that. But empirically, she always liked the always high alcohol beers. Always likes higher alcohol beers. Like, always. Well, what's funny oh. about that? Even her favorite beer that we had when the triples was the quad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So the funny thing you said that is so these two are the highest content, right? They're the doubles, yes. So I almost switched them mm. because I tried them again <clears throat> and I was a little iffy, but then I know Humble C has always been a lighter in color. That is true. Because they're not quite hazies, they call them unfiltered. Yeah, we're Which is the same thing. Okay, no, they call them foggy. 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 But foggy. it's the same Birdie thing, calls them but foggy. it's um it's always been a lighter color. It is a little lighter. I will say that of these four beers, personally, my favorite beer was the Humble Sea of these four in this taste. That was my favorite. Personally. I actually liked the Cellar Maker. I think it's a nice beer. I'm surprised by that. I am too, frankly. You know, I'll, you, well, I'll, you I'll like send you home with one as a consolation You price. actually yeah. like the dinky beers. I do like dinkier beers. That is true. That and is true. that one had a dinky flavor. So let's see. So, right, so I'll, start with, uh, I'll start with Burning Barrel because I was there. Yep. Uh, I was up there to go to the Aftershock concert. Had a blast at that. Um, Burning Barrel, which we've been to many, many times. Um, I don't know if you've been there recently, but they redid the whole outside where it used to be a tent, and now it's a much more uh, permanent we outdoor have. facility. We have been there since then. Which looks really nice. Um, the yeah, indoor is been. great. Uh, they did, the only downside is doing that took away a lot of parking, but there's still some plenty of parking. Um, the you know the, the reality is Taco Bell right there. There's Taco Bell right there. A they usually have drinking. a good Taco truck, but yeah, Taco Bell is a good place to go when you've been drinking, especially now that the Mexican pizza is back. I mean, come on, you know Mexican. You know what else back. is back? No. The Enchirito. <gasps> no, uh. Yeah, it won. It won the. Uh, it won that. It won, it won the. Um, Enchirito. I guess the double decker taco. It won to come back. I'm sorry, but you that's know, more exciting. You than realize Mexican you pizza. could have always ordered an Enchirito, right? I know, but it's, it's just the okay. idea of having it back. I always order. FY Bills Chiefs, 10 to 10 at halftime. Okay, okay, so at least they scored. Um, so anyway, so uh, yeah, Love Burning Barrel, great inside. The people are always just great, super friendly folks. Very. Um, and, and another benefit to that brewery is within a five-minute literally walk in several directions, you're going to hit another couple of breweries. So, I mean, maybe not a five-minute walk, but... Yeah, that's a five-minute it's, drive. It's, it's great. Like, I was there, I went there with the movement. Uh, I look everywhere. I can't remember what else, but I, it's... it's uh, <laughs> you hit some downtown spots, too. I, I did, yeah. I did hit some downtown spots. But Burning Barrel is, you know, they're one of our top breweries. We love them. We love their beer. We love their place yes. and their people, so... Yes. so. And if you want a good sour, that is the place to go. We will, in fact, be reviewing one. We will do this, Sour of the Week. After this portion of the show. Portion of the show. And then last one is Cellar Maker, since you don't like to talk about the breweries. Last one is Humble Sea. No. No, we did Humble Sea. We always talk about Humble Sea. Oh, we don't. Yes. Oh. We're last one to talk about uh, that Cellar stuff. Maker yes. is 21 and up at their regular facility. Their downtown facility uh, just off market is 21 and over only. Yeah. Uh, they also have a second facility. The second the facility is pizza. called the Cellar Maker House of Pizza. Yeah. They do a Detroit style pizza. Oh. Uh, I it's haven't good. managed to make it there yet. Oh, I was going to say, it's was sort it good? Of, it's sort that's of, your jam. It's not in the walkable space from the theater oh, district, really. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, it's probably walkable if like it was in San Francisco <laughs> and I was going to spend like a whole day there. You know what I mean? Like, we only made it's it... probably less than a mile, but... Still. Speaking of, are we seeing that the play there or are we in Sacramento? Uh, six? Yeah. Or Book. Six is in San Francisco, Book of Mormon is in okay. Sacramento. 
I thought Book of Mormon was Modesto. No, Book of Mormon's second one. Second one. Because yeah. um, I was going to say, if it's within walkable distance, we could we could go early. The House of Pizza. Honestly, there's a place that does a really nice Detroit style pizza in walkable distance out of the theater. Okay. As um, long as they're open this time. No, I'm talking about Sunset Square, so we got the brunch and you got. I'm just pizza. saying, as long as they're well, open well, this time, because well, last time well, you took well, us to well. the city, nothing was open. I'm very yeah, disappointed in myself. Place. You had the Sunset Square, so you liked it. Very disappointed in myself. I should have done better. Alas. I'm not. You shouldn't well, be. Well, you got them all right. You Why would you be disappointed? Not, not only did you get them all right, but you got the two right that you said you would, which is... We, you guys we called you on me. it. We doubted you. We, well, we I, don't say, I wouldn't say doubt, but questioned. I will tell you, questioned. if you put West Coast in front of me from these places, I couldn't do it. That's reasonable. That's probably true. I couldn't. I'm not even sure I could. I don't have enough of their West Coasts. No. Rut row. Rut row. Paint on the table. Plate. Sorry, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I have another plate. It just slipped from my hand. I know. I saw. I watched. <laughs> we all watched. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm fixing it's it. like our I kids have their finger painting on the table. I know. It is very water solid paint, though. So. It's okay. It's oh, okay. No. All right, so it's still on my chair. So that was your kid, I right? Was right? That was my chair. kid. And not no, this paint. All right, so that final verdict on your ratings. What was your guys' final ranking for orders? What was your ranking for My beer of the day was the cellar maker. Mine was Humble Seeds. So you went through, what was your rate? What was your I, went, three? I went, uh, three. One, two, three, four. So number three was first. Three, four, one, two. Humble Seeds. That's so funny. Then Fieldwork. Um, field work and then Burning Girl. Burning Girl, which is strange, but. Three, four, so one, two. Okay. I went one, two, three, four. I don't know how that happened. But in reverse order. No, I mean from worst to best. Yes. Oh, then yeah, in reverse order. Um, yeah. I'm so guessing four, three, two, just because as I drink more, the taste gets stronger because of the last beer. Could be. It feels like the taste gets stronger. No, I actually think number four, I mean, I thought number four might have actually been the best beer. I actually think number three is really, really good, too. Um, but it's funny, I literally... Honestly, I probably would have rated number three, two four. the worst, personally. I, it felt I a little under-flavored. Number two I was my... the fruitiness of it. Yes. That one had a lot of fruitiness. And then three felt too watery. Yeah, you actually too. liked the drinkability of it, but you did not like the smell. There was no smell. Yeah. I didn't like the smell of Humble Sea either. I think I'm broken. You might be broken. It's yep. possible. Might be broken. It is possible. All right. Well, thank you very much, producer. Thank you, producer. For thank you. Joining us very for well done. tasting. Uh, you may switch uh, spots now. I will grab us a quick sour. Thank God. No one's watching us anyways. Oh, uh, I was watching us. I was watching us. I'm watching. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, it's sweating. It. So, and now we can talk other I get stuff too. too. Nervous. We can I talk. Agree. We can talk. Oh, is it still recording? Senatorial That's some bullshit. Debates. That just totally got everything I just said. Yeah, you said you were sweating. What did you say? You were too nervous. That I was sweaty. It's all good. And now it's on there five times. <laughs> sweaty, 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 <laughs> sweaty. Can I have sure my bottle, please? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We'll do some swapping here. Well, sharing fills the air time. I am going to put the beer we'll be tasting front and center so everyone can see it. Uh, let us swap. Jam du jour. Oh. Pastry smoothie big sour big with blackberry, blueberry, you don't need that. It's plum, empty, dude. cream There's cheese, cinnamon, <laughs> granola, brown <laughs> sugar, and vanilla beans. I would like some of that. Absolutely, I will get you one. Right. I want to smell that. That's convenient. Works for me. When I was there, they had a couple of different pastry smoothie sours on, and I asked the bartender which one she preferred, and this was her pick. Did you only buy one four pack of sours? No. Usually all they have. I bought two. Wow. No, uh, my, whole, my whole fridge is full of sours right now, so I can't keep buying say, more. You should have told us we would have we would have bought some. And, no, I don't need more sours. No, but we no, need more sours. Bring, oh, what, oh what, we yes. will bring sours over. No, they're all icky old, old sours. Oh, we will still drink them. We drink them when we come over. That is true. Shane should stop doing sours because he really doesn't. Choose I don't drink, to drink them. Much. He doesn't choose them. Yeah, but then he he likes them every he likes once in a while, them, yeah. so he buys them. But our whole fridge I'm, is our fridge is so full. He has that whole fridge. Full of beer, and he's the only one that drinks beer in the house. So it sits that there. That looks good too. And it's too full. We but need I actually to brought, beer. I brought extra Corey cans keeps of this drinking all of it. You're awesome. Corey just needs to drink from our fridge. Corey needs to drink less. So you gotta find a fridge too. It's probably too much. Can I raise this up for you, Corey? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're taller. You are definitely taller. How do I switch it without messing something up? What do you I think you untwist and pull. I need to no. tip it tip like it. Just that. Literally, just tilt it. Oh, just tilt it. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. There you oh. go. That is so pretty. That is very so pretty. pretty. All right, well, I took the rest on. Let's see. Here you go. Here you go, producer D. You can smell. Okay, <clears throat> let's smell it. That's good. Smells like a berry okay, smoothie. Get a oh, I'm gonna get a pour number. It's supposed to, it's a pastry smoothie sour. Mm -hmm. It smells it's like, they call it like a pastry a sour. Berry, berry smells berry ish. It should smell berry -ish. berry ish. I wasn't even trying to over pour. Mm. It's good. It's good. Well, the first thing that I thought when I saw those ingredients is that's a lot. Uh, what are we talking I about? I feel like the cinnamon overpowers Blueberry. Everything. And cinnamon. Cinnamon oh. and ginger. I didn't smell cinnamon in that. Cinnamon, cinnamon ginger yes. you have to be Definitely very careful cinnamon. with. You have to be wow. very careful with because um, they can but overpower it's almost, very um, it's almost a, there's a fake flavor in there for me this time around. The I berry. The cream cheese, the cinnamon, the, the blackberry. I agree. It's the cream cheese. That's what it is. I love it when they put the cream cheese in these, honestly. I actually mm. think it's really good. I don't think I like it this time. You are right. The first flavor you get is cinnamon. It's like all cinnamon and the cream cheese. Oh, and then there's a burn at the end with the cinnamon. You're right, it's a little heavy on the cinnamon. And I think it's good. I didn't smell it the cinnamon at all. I just got like a berry, like an overwhelming berry type. It is very berryish, but I, yeah, I don't smell a lot of the cinnamon, but I taste a lot it's of the cinnamon. It's fake interesting this time. Usually it's with burn. So it's like cinnamon and, uh, extract or something as opposed to them um, using the like... The cinnamon's not the fake taste I'm getting. Oh, okay. I'm getting oh, straight cinnamon. Sour cream cheese really permeates cream like cheese. the entirety of the taste to me. Oh. It's By the way, this is supposed to be... Cinnamon. This is also a um, collaborative with Dreku Brewing. Oh, okay. Famous for their Jareem. Yep. I serious. I can't find the can date. It's fine. So typically, if you're buying a sour burning barrel, it is not old. They don't last very long. They don't true. last. Very long. I think this is great. Um, I might like it more than you guys in this one, to be honest. I think you do. I think the blackberry flavors, but blackberry is one of my favorite flavors in kettle sours. I don't know if there's plum flavor in this or not, frankly. I'm not getting a lot of plum. I'm not um, even getting really a lot of blueberry. Blackberry, cream cheese. Yeah, blackberry, cream cheese. Uh, not, even, not a lot of vanilla. A little bit of cinnamon. Either. The vanilla. Well, the vanilla and cream cheese I are almost, cinnamon, almost interchangeable. Yeah, I think, I think the cinnamon and. <laughs> Is taking over. I agree. I think it's really nice. Um, it's a good beer, but it, it's not. It's not my favorite of their smoothies. I don't think I would leave with a four pack. Wow. Oh, well, there's one in the fridge for me. I'm gonna <laughs> drink it. Actually, no. I took the one out of the fridge for you. Oh I no! Well, I brought. It's in my bag. Oh, I, I, I will still drink it, but I don't think. And this is the first time I well. <laughs> there was a time I wished I didn't buy a four pack, but this yeah, is the first the time I mystery flavor. Mystery flavor. Uh, yeah, that one was the mystery worst. Mystery flavor. Not good. <laughs> but I you think this green is thumb. the first time where I'm like, it's a little much. You have a green thumb. I. It's kind of black. Yeah. Yeah, I think I kill the plants. I don't. I think the more I drink it, too, the less like the flavor is sort of as fruity. Like the fruitiness is sort of going away. Like, yes. my, my, yep. like my taste buds are being stung by something. And the fruitiness is sort of fading like a little yep. bit. I agree. With is that. there cloves in it? Because it tastes kind of no. like cloves. Which I find to be a very weird experience. I was just going home. Blackberry, and blueberry, blueberry plum, 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 cheese, cinnamon, granola, brown sugar, and vanilla. Granola. Like I said, you taste, you hear all of that, and that's like, there's just a lot of flavor. I taste a couple of things. <clears throat> I don't even know what a granola flavor is, frankly. Well, if it's like your standard brown sugary cinnamon, brown granola sugar and cinnamon are already flavor. in this. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Like, I would hard. I, you're yeah, making granola I mean, without brown sugar and cinnamon. What is uh, it? Toasted oats? So it's oats typically with honey, yeah. brown sugar, cinnamon, cloves. Yeah, it's supposed to come with And it's all mixed up. But, but, the, all but by itself, it just. So maybe that's flavor. what the clove flavor is, is maybe it's in there. Maybe it's the granola. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's fine. Let's see. Um, anything else exciting to talk about? We finish this beer and move on well, to the next Well, we could talk about Herschel Walker. Oh, you mean Deputy Herschel oh, Walker. That's right. I was say Officer Herschel Walker. Yeah, Deputy Officer Herschel Walker. We could definitely talk about him. There's not a ton to say. That dude's crazy. I don't know. Well, I also like I also like my favorite. Oh, well, sure. Hold on. Let me go. Let's give, uh, let's give Producer A the um, Cliff's Notes version of Herschel Walker. He is a... Producer A does not do news. He is a former football star. Correct. A Heisman winner at the University of Georgia. Yep. Minnesota Viking, Dallas Cowboy. Hall of Fame. Maybe I'm not I don't think sure. he made it to the Hall of Fame. Uh, definitely, he was the key player in the biggest trade I think in NFL history. Correct. 
Um, the trade that led to the Cowboys actually becoming a dynasty. That is correct. As it turned out. Yep. Uh, then he went away for a while. You know, like 30 years. 30 years. Mm-hmm. And uh, now was he's he originally percent. drafted into the USFL. By the he was originally Chinese. drafted in the USFL. That is correct, which, too. Which is hysterical because he was drafted, I believe, by the team owned at the time by Mr. Donald Trump. Oh, was he really? Yeah. I never put that together. I'm pretty sure that yeah, he was. kind of funny. So, okay. which, you know. And then, yeah, so he disappeared for 30 years, except that, um, you know, I guess not because. I assume he was, he was still doing stuff in Georgia because I mean, once you're yep. a famous Georgia football star at Georgia State University, I'm pretty sure you're like a god for life in Georgia, right? That's how it works. Yes. Uh, so now he's running for Senate on a very conservative platform. Um, he at one time was calling for a national ban on abortion. That is correct. Despite having paid for his girlfriend's abortion. With receipts. With he receipts that she provided evidence for. Um, they had a debate the other day, and uh, during the debate, um, the, his opponent, um, Senator Warnock, uh, accused him of both pretending to be a police offer, officer and plotting to shoot police officers or something? Something. Yeah. And Herschel Walker's response was to pull out his police badge. Because he's volunteered with them, so they gave him one of those badges that essentially is a get out of a traffic oh ticket God. free card, and he pulled it out. But it gets better, because he also said during the debate that the health care that the senator has should be the same health care everyone else has, not realizing that it's a state paid for universal health. Just chess pieces in the top of that castle. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Yeah. But anyway, that's Herschel Walker. <laughs> and he's has a chance to actually win. He's down by like 12 runs, I think. Uh, I can't trust the, 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 the... Those things swing a lot right now. I'm seeing them fluctuate about five points. It's just too... To me, it's just too tight. I, I, also, he's um, really hard to follow in conversations. Um, yes, yes. He's Try. clearly... He's clearly got, like, CTE. Uh, CTE. Mm-hmm. I'd agree with that. I think there's no doubt. He's, he's, he's going to rubber stamp any sort of conservative thing, which honestly is mostly meaningless for the next two years. So, I guess I'm known. I mean, it is, it is as much as it'll get vetoed. No, it's, it's meaningless that them winning really doesn't matter at all. Democrats winning means things will be accomplished. Republicans mean, winning means that nothing will get accomplished. Nothing at all will get accomplished for two more years. That's right. right. Pretty much. So if that's your goal, I mean, you know, campaign on government not working, then get elected and prove that it doesn't actually work. Um, Hey, great. And then because nothing happened during the last two years of someone's presidency, you can elect a new president saying nothing happened. Yeah. It's a yeah, self-fulfilling yeah. prophecy sort of thing. You know what? Dank Brandon's out to get him, though, so I'm not too worried. Dank Brandon. What is Dank Brandon? What is Dank Brandon? That's a I don't great know that one. I don't know this fun one. one. Oh, it's good. So you, you are familiar with Let's Go Brandon? Yes, I do know that. All right, so Let's Go Brandon is the uh, weird Republican way where they want to say fuck Biden, but not actually yeah. say fuck Biden. And they think it's getting one over on the liberals. And we're just like, dude, just say fuck Biden. We said fuck Trump like all the time. Like, well, there's also, you know, F- I mean, know. they do say both because they have the FJB shit everywhere. Yeah, but they too. think they're clever with the Let's Go Brandon. That's why it's so funny. Right. Like, they think they're being clever and, like, well, it really bugs liberals. No, no, they think it clever. bugs liberals. They, they think it bugs people. I think it, bugs it just has to come, I just think it stems from the whole video. But that is what it stems from, but they think it bugs, they think that it uh, bugs yeah, liberals. They, they, they think that it most, bugs Joe Biden and that it bugs liberals. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, most con- honestly, most conservative mindset at this point is just, like, do things that bug liberals. So, um, so... Yes, yeah, so let's go, Brandon. So about six months ago, Joe Biden kind of just started, like, calling it like it is. Yep. You know, a lot of examples being, like, last week, he was like, I don't know, the Supreme Court's kind of more like an advocacy group than, like, an unpartial court these days. The president's not supposed to say not that. supposed to say that. Right? He's not supposed to just call it out. He's not supposed to be like, oh, a couple weeks ago, too, he did this thing where um, senators were, like, all voted against his big infrastructure bill. Correct. So he went on Twitter... And he called out every senator that voted no on his infrastructure bill. And then once it passed, immediately started asking for money from the infrastructure bill. I think they actually asked before they voted against it. They probably did. The way I understood it was they were sending him letters privately saying, here are the funds we would like to go to our area, while publicly saying, this is a boondoggle and we shouldn't do all this money. And he came out and said, and on... On during a speech or during a conversation, <laughs> named names, which is again something. Normally, the president normally tries to stay speech. sort of like neutral because there's this old school predominant theory that the Senate and government is about compromise, but compromise doesn't work anymore. So Biden's like, "Fuck it, I'm old, I don't give a fuck," and now he just calls it like it is. So once he started calling like it is, people started making the new memes, right? Instead of "Let's go, Brandon," it was "Dark Brandon," and they put like. Dark clouds behind him and red eyes and shit, right? Yeah. 
and they called it Dark Brandon. It means it's a meme thing. Dark Brandon, he's talking some shit, right? So last week, last week, he de he pardons every person in federal jail for possession of marijuana. That's correct. Um, and cancels out their cancels out their things, right? So basically, if you were in jail for possession of simple possession of marijuana on yeah. a federal charge. You, right. were, you got well, out. Isn't a federal charge like a ridiculous amount of marijuana? No. Depends. It, it, no, it no, no, no. It's, it's a Schedule it's, 2 drug. It's scheduled the yes. same as heroin. It, it, the, the, the feds could oh, charge you with simple possession, for example, in California. That's one of the reasons why the laws are, are kind of quirky here with the, the, the cannabis places. Is yeah. they can't they can't go to banks because they can seize stuff. So you can and it's not possession and transportation of a larger sum. That's where mandatory minimums get kicked right. in. But even simple possession of, of an eighth of marijuana is a federal. Crime. Yeah, it's probably enough to eat in our house for a federal crime right now. Except that it's legal in California now. It's still not. It doesn't make it not illegal under federal government. That's, the feds could. That's the weird part. Yes, but the, fed, the feds don't. The feds don't enforce it. The feds don't do it here. It's not worth a fight at all. It's really well, there's dope. no it's just, reason for the feds to come to my house. So I'm thinking. No, like any house for marijuana at this point. It's just like not a thing. So he did that. So then the meme becomes dank Brandon. Right? Because we dank. So now Brandon's got green eyes. Mm-hmm. And marijuana leaves behind him in all of his memes. And they're like, fear dank Brandon. So it's funny. It's it funny. funny. It is funny. I think it's funny. I'm amused. I agree. It's, well, you know, it's amusing stuff. I won't disagree. Uh, you know, so, yeah, no, so what was something else with Herschel Walker? Did you have to Herschel Walker? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, we tangented real hard. No, that was it. No, I asked it was just that one. It was just that one thing where he, he literally said the American people, it was supposed to be, you have better health care, so why shouldn't you? And he's like, I will happily sign legislation so, that gives everyone in America the same health care I have. We've been pushing that. But the Republicans, which is what he is, supposedly, don't want a universal health care system. So it was just kind of self-defeating and hysterical. Back to Walker's uh, abortion stance, too. Um, the funniest part... What do you mean, back to it? We, we talked about it. We mentioned it. Uh, so the funniest part to me about the entire Walker abortion thing is, one, Daily Beast is like, yeah, he totally paid for his girlfriend's abortion, and we have the receipt. We have the receipt. Literally, literally they have the receipt from Planned Parenthood for the services, and a card written from Herschel Walker to the girlfriend. Like a get well card. Like a get well card. Um... Uh, the funniest part is the first thing Herschel Walker says is I don't even know her. Turns out she also got pregnant from Herschel Walker another time and had the baby. And pays her support. <laughs> but, so, he don't, but he don't know her. But he didn't even know her. But he's literally one of his and then, and then he tried to say, I just send lots of money to people. I send pe- money to people all the time. I don't know her. Uh, oops. And then there was the one where his kid came out. So real. Which, by the way, his kid is not exactly the most mental stable. His kid is a straight either. conservative, like weird punting Twitter person. But he came out and was just like, oh, "Dad, realistic. stop lying! I can't believe you're doing this. You know you did this. You know you cheated on mom. On you know you slept on around. On you know you paid for abortions. How old is he? Twenty-four. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, but he's also the problem is he's also crazy right wing, probably QAnon ish. Yeah. Or at least QAnon adjacent. Yeah. So it's uh, adjacent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that whole shit is a fucking it's shit show. And his opponent, Raphael Warnock, is like a well-respected local pastor. Yep. Yes, Reverend Warnock, which is also <laughs> ironic. If you want the humble seat? You can have it. This is I poured it here. If you want to trade, if you don't have a humble seat. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I'm offering it to you. Because I know you like your favorite. Know. Whatever. Okay. So Warnock was cool. He won um, in 2020. So that was cool. Yes. So it'll be. I do think the midterms are going to be interesting. 538 numbers are really interesting right now. Uh, the basic gist here is that there's roughly a 33% chance that the... I'm mad at 538 right now. That the Democrats... Um, Lose? No. Well, actually, well, yes. But there's also a 33% chance that says the Democrats get to 52 seats in the Senate and oh. keep the House. That would be an interesting two years. I also 30, said the Jets would lose. There's a 33% chance that um, the... Um, Republicans take back the take back the House, but the but the Democrats get to keep the Senate. Like the odds are all very basically, this entire election is just totally up in the air. So yep. if anyone watches this, just go vote. Unless you're voting for Republicans, then don't go vote. Really, I would just say this: <laughs> you can vote for some Republicans. I'm not a big advocate of voting for Republicans, but you shouldn't be voting for people like Herschel Walker, Marjorie Taylor Greene. At least vote for people who make sense when they talk, and have a plan, and don't regurgitate Trump's talking points of. Did you hear the the senator the, the senator running I think it's senator or governor or whatever it is in Arizona 
flat out said on national TV, if I lose the election, it's only because it's rigged. <laughs> so I won't say the election is good unless <laughs> I win. I think Trump said that Lake? exact thing. Actually. Lake, I think it was, is it Kari Lake? Because yeah, I think who that is. I think Trump said the exact same thing, to be fair. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's the point. But like, we're all just parroting what he says. Like, it's it's only legit if I win. The after party blend. After party that blend. Cloud. What else was there in politics this week? It was more right. interesting. Uh, you know, oh local God. news, they uh, they arrested a serial killer in Scotland. They did arrest a serial killer in Scotland. Oh, they found him? Yeah, they think so. Yeah, they think so. And they busted him heading out for the night. With all black clothes, black hoodie, gun on him. So, yeah, they might have actually busted like a statewide serial killer. Yeah, they, they, I think they had like eight or nine. Yeah, in several cities so too. Yeah, so. So... Producer C and I were talking in the car. Uh oh. Because she randomly thought, you know, how you like randomly get these thoughts like, what ifs? Uh-oh. And so we started talking about murder, and I said, no. I said, look, if you're going to murder people and you're going to be a serial killer, you need to go state by state. Never kill a person in the same state you've already killed another person because it'll take them too long to connect the murders. So basically what you're saying is you're a big fan of the prevailing theory that the majority of active serial killers in the U.S. we do not know about are actually all long-haul truckers. Yeah, basically. Yeah, because they move they move around too much and it's hard to... Exactly, and I told her, I said, you never, ever kill near your house because they always find you. Well, they don't always find you. They always find you. I mean, the key is not to taunt the police, right? That's what got Green River, right? Definitely That's what got Green don't River. taunt the police. And I'm Green telling River. you, and then, of course, Callie came up with the brilliant name 50 State Killer. Because um, you know, uh, we were talking about Golden State at the time. And, and but why in Alaska feel hard to get there, to be honest? But, I mean, it's not, you have to Why would it be hard to get though. there? Well, no, no, just, be, just because then there are records of you effectively flying in Correct. and out of Hawaii. Um, yeah. Or right Alaska. around the time You'd have to go up there and... You'd have to like you stay, have to there, for stay a there for a month, then murder a person, then stay there for like another month, and then fly home. Right. Or like a year or something. You don't have to kill them all in one year. You move, you just do it slowly. I mean, it's kind of not how serial killers work, though. I mean, some can go slowly. No, some do. Most, some, I think a lot, of, a lot of them accelerate, right? Because like they, they get that rush. They acceleration. Accelerate. And then you accelerate because like you want that rush again, you know, whatever. Then I also, Producer D loves this I also made sure to say you don't <laughs> I, I ever. I also said true. you don't ever, ever use their credit cards right. after you kill them. It's never someone you know. You never use their credit cards. You never use your own credit cards. And you then, of course, I car. reminded it's going to be very difficult because there's fucking cameras everywhere these days. And you don't use the same equipment. Yep. You do. You have to do it differently. So, in case that's you your instruction know. on how to be a serial killer. Brought to you by Producer C and Producer A. Producer D declines to comment. <laughs> Producer C believes that you should just find people on the side of the road and kill them. That's what Dude and Stockton was doing. That's actually basically accurate. If you can oh. kill, um, like typically if you're a murderer, you're going to get more murders in if you're murdering like homeless people, people or um, That's not prostitutes what they meant. or... Um, they meant if you're broken down on the side of the road, you're going to die. No, people care about that though. Yeah, people they do. Care about people, people. people end up missing. Yeah. That Not work. to say that people don't care about people that are homeless. They have families too. They're people too. Right, but you never know when they're missing because they're not scheduled. But they don't get reported. Nobody asks. That's right. <clears throat> That's just the truth. Shall we so. try this last one? Uh, yeah, you know, let's uh, yeah, let's move on from the oh, murder you need talk. Them. Oh, we're gonna need a bottle opener. We are going to go back for me. another. Uh, yeah. So we did our side of the week. We I liked it the most for sure. Yeah, not a big fan. Not not one of my favorites that not they do. Not my favorite thing though. Producer D did like the smell. She thought it was fruity. I'm going to like this next one. Smell You're too. definitely going to like this next one. Are we going to play some hearts? Uh... <laughs> if we wrap up quickly. All we have to do is taste this. What time do you have to do dinner? They're coming over at 5. Ooh, but I have to finish cleaning off the table. They're doing, uh, uh, they're doing Hocus Pocus night. Oh, that's tonight. Oh, okay. I want to smell that real quick. Uh, all right. Of course, I'm going to do a little mess. No, I don't want any. It's got coconut. Oh, it smells like chocolate milk. Mmm. That smells really oh, good. Apparently, we're going to play some three player hearts. Apparently. Abyssal Zone. Humble Sea Imperial Stout. Condition in Matt on. Yeah. Wait, are you watching the movie with us? Madagascar Vanilla. Roasted, I don't know, roasted Ecuadorian Cocoa Nibs. And Cat and Cloud Coffee. Uh, 1710 bills now. Oh, okay. Uh, Island to Dicks. 
Ah, damn it. I didn't play Davis. Alan, Alan and Davis was the first touchdown. Oh, okay, good. Uh, the Seahawks are up to 19 points. Uh, Arizona got a defensive touchdown. And Kenneth Walker got an 11 yard rushing touchdown. And then there's a lot of field goals in that game. Uh, your Rams update. Uh, let us see here. Stafford to Robinson. That one you probably saw. Ben Skrownek with the rush. Daryl Henderson with the rush. All right, nobody's going to need points from that, guys. Um, nope. How's my man Cooper Cup doing? That's really all I care about. Not great. Ah, seven for 80 ain't terrible. Oh, it's no, not Cooper terrible. Cup numbers, no, yeah. but it ain't terrible. I mean, seven for 80 with a TD, you'd be fine. Panthers have 10 points, but they also oh have a Lord. defensive touchdown. Which is fucked up because McCaffrey's got 11 for 65 and 5 for 35. So McCaffrey's playing a good game. So. Right, but no TDs, right? No, they yeah. only play on defensive TDs. So it's only three games. I find the NFL schedule very frustrating. I agree. Like, I'm a red zone guy. I love to watch red zone because I love action. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to watch a game. Uh, I don't really want to watch commercials. Mm -hmm. uh, just today, I was telling the wife, I was like, oh yeah, the top movie in America right now is like a horror movie. What is it? Oh, it's called Smile. Never heard of it. That's because we literally never watch commercials, so they never get to see it. Smile's the top movie? Uh, probably. Oh, I wouldn't have thought that. Uh, it's going to go over 100 mil. Yes. Now, I know it's doing well. Yeah, it's probably a top movie. But it's, it's creepy. It might not be the top movie this week. It was, it was the top movie one week. Uh, but, but, well, movie. next week so next week will be Black Adam. Next week will be Black Adam. Black Adam's Adam. underperforming, too. I've heard, I've yeah. heard that. I think The Rock it looks interesting. Overboard. It looks interesting, but yeah. I mean, The Rock's life is literally overboard, so how does he not go overboard? He might have, like, overboard, overboarded. Like, yeah. some of the stuff, yeah. I think. I mean, you even tried that TV show for a while. I don't even think that lasted four episodes. So, we're just doing like that game show athletic Oh, it did Beastmaster, thing. right? That had a whole series of Ultimate Beastmaster yeah, or something. I think he did. That. All right, so what are we drinking here? I'm sorry. This one is Abyssal Zone Blend. 60% rum barrel aged stout aged 28 months. 20% cocoa rum barrel aged stout also aged for 20 mu 28 months. And 20% fresh rye stout. Again, finished on... Madagascar vanilla beans, roasted Ecuadorian cocoa nibs from Tiny House Chocolate, and the After Party Blend from Cat and Cloud Coffee. Humble Sea Santa Cruz, 11.2% Imperial Stout. The coffee smell on this is amazing. I can smell it from here. It oh. smells great. God, it smells great. And I get the cocoa. Well, good news, V, by the way. At least three houses will have a gluten-free uh, food item. Who's well? well? Three of the four. For Pike Night. For our, not Pike Night, uh, 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 pub, crawl. pub Crawl. Oh, yeah. Well, this, this, this yeah, house well, see. right? She's yeah, so well, two other houses. Oh, two, wait. Three anything? of the four houses. If this oh, three of the four. Yeah. I was, I misunderstood what you said. I was like, yeah, the house, this house will have gluten-free stuff. All right, there should be a gluten-free also at two other houses. Oh, oh, that's now really cool. She clearly did. I'm I thought, I'm gonna be honest, I'm disappointed. I'm underwhelmed. The smell. What? You got I, it, it's I'm surprised. I did, I'm I'm not getting any of the rum It barrel. smells amazing. It does smell amazing. I'm not getting any of the coconut. There's any coconut. Coconut rum barrel. No, it's yeah, absolutely. It's it aged for 20 20 percent of it. Aged for 28 months on a coconut rum barrel. Mm, I guess that's fair. I don't know, would you really taste coconut from a coconut rum barrel? No. Like, a little bit. I don't feel like a you would. The coconut's a very powerful thing. So even, yeah, you even heard producer A out there throw up at the thought of coconut. I don't know, I think that's fine. The problem I think is that this is not Humble Seas Jam, all right? They are not known for this. Uh, they're known for this um, hazy that we all agreed was really good. Uh, I bought it on, a, on an off chance. It's fine. It's underwhelming. But compared to like some of the spots that do it, like yeah. Firestone or Bottle Logic is probably a perfectly good example. A bottle um, Logic is 100% a perfect yeah. counter example. Yes. Uh, this is just underwhelming. The flavors. It just tastes like a good coffee stout. Yep. I'm not getting any of the barrel aged stuff out of it. I'm barely With getting a little bit of vanilla, but not I, a lot. I get a little bit of the vanilla. I get the cocoa nibs for sure. That's really all I'm getting. The mouth feels fucking coconut. great though. Yes. It's it is very perfect silky. mouth though. It is very silky. Yeah, I get the cocoa. I get the cocoa for sure. I think maybe I get the rye stout the flavoring a little bit. I don't think so because it's a little really different. Bitter. I, I feel like there's a little bit in there. Like, flavors it's a little, a little different on a stout flavor than, than like a straight. It is. I like the I'm idea that they uh, blended like four different stouts together. That's pretty cool. I'm just underwhelmed. Yeah, I'm just, that's probably, probably the right answer. I'm just not underwhelmed. We should make sure we check all these in on beer splitting. We will. But yeah, I, I'm also just underwhelmed on it. 
Well, yeah, I, I think that's it. I don't think we have a whole lot else to talk about. Let me think. Is there anything else to talk about? Anything else you want us to talk about there, Producer D? Not really. I nope, I think you covered it all. And more. You don't think that. <laughs> so are then, you, are you doing each egg like a house, or are you just making them all the same color? They're all different. Like a, like a Gryffindor one and like a Hufflepuff oh, one? Oh, not the houses. I'm doing the dragon eggs of Harry Potter. Are the actual ones from the... Their mm -hmm. actual are dragon eggs on Harry Potter? Yeah. That you know about? Oh, perfect. Yes. Man. Good job. Yeah, so I'm doing the um, oh. Norwegian... Ridgeback. Ridgeback. The Romanian Longhorn. Uh, the Common Welsh Green. <clears throat> the Antipodean... Open eye and the Hungarian horn tail. Awesome. We have one extra, so it's gonna be fine. It's right. Okay. All right, let's wrap this up. We did lose a team. I think I told you that. I told her. Uh, yeah, he told me that. I was still making the uh, same amount of eggs. Yeah, right. Uh, so, all right, so thank, thank, we'll wrap it up. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Check us out on uh, Instagram. Beer Instagram, Beer Splaining, yeah. Beer um, Twitch, we do tend to stream most of Sundays. We'll probably be back next Sunday with another show. Yes. Um, it's entirely possible we might do. Um, we might need to do what's in my fridge. And you'll get to hear about sours. chili cook -off. Okay, well, you, we Ooh, might do a. I will fridge. choose from your fridge. Ooh. Our producer D will choose four sours from the fridge, and we will drink them. Okay. We Check will, us out. We will hope they're moderately recent. Nope. They're not. I am not food. pulling dates. I'm just going to choose based on bring what looks good. Bring six. Okay, so yeah. Bring six. I will bring six from the fridge. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Thank you guys for joining us. Or watching on YouTube. I heard that. Do you have to hit the button? Oh, hit the button. Keep smiling. <laughs>